everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Marianelli, and as you guys already read by today's title, I will be reviewing the new Not Your Mother's Hard Hold Gel. I'm super excited about this review because I love Stronghold Gels. If you guys follow me here on YouTube, I always talk about like Stronghold Gels. I, I just love Stronghold Gels. They keep my definition and make my wash day last longer. My favorite Stronghold Gel ever is the Weed Dad. I always talk about that gel. It's a Stronghold. I honestly really love that gel. Not Your Mother's is very affordable, so I have yet to find a really good Stronghold drugstore gel that I really love and I like want to recommend. So I'm really excited to be reviewing this gel. I'm going to show you guys day one through three and see how this gel holds up. So now your mother's curl talk line already has a gel which is a number three on hold which is like a medium light hold gel. I actually have a full review that I did here on my YouTube channel when I first started. Um, I show you guys like my day one hair um, but that uh, gel didn't really work out for me because it didn't keep that hold that I wanted throughout the days like um, in day two like I felt like I had to refresh and like fix my curls so I bought the leave-in and I also bought the uh, curl defining cream um, because I don't really use this line I guess just because I didn't really like how my curls lasted throughout the week with the original gel that's why I didn't really go back to buy the curl talk line products but they're great. My mom loves them and she uses them all the time. Last time I used her cream when I was at her house and I really like it. But I just want a stronger hold. So I'm so glad that they came out with this new gel. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my day one, two, and three. And we're going to see how this uh, gel holds up. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So I already washed my hair. It's pretty hydrated. I use my Briojo shampoo and conditioner. And I actually conditioned... Um, I think like three days ago I did deep condition like three days ago so my hair is pretty hydrated so these uh, products should be fine so I actually trimmed my hair a little more I know last week I posted a video telling you guys about my haircut but that video like I said I had originally wanted that video to go up live like last month and uh, it's been like two months now so yeah, my hair pretty much grew out already and I had to trim it because I want to keep it like a short length. It's just better to maintain. I don't have to use a lot of product. And my hair, like I always say here on my channel, I have high density hair. So um, my hair gets pretty heavy, especially when I do like high buns. Um, it's just too much. But yeah, it's time consuming. And I mean, I love long hair, but um, I just wanted to do a small trim. Um, but I'm gonna let it grow out see how the winter how it grows out till the winter because I do want to get my length back But for right now, I'm really liking the short hair My hair really springs up. So I really like that like you guys can really see like my curl definition my ringlets They're like super defined and I love that Probably skip through like me like applying the products and stuff and how I style I already have a full video on how I do that so I will leave the link if you guys are interested in watching that. But, you know, I'm just going to skip through really quickly. So I'm not going to like show you guys how I exactly style my hair. First off, I'm going to start off by applying water. I style my hair now when it's wet. I like it. It just works out better for me. So I'm going to start off with the leave-in. I went to Ulta to get this product. Actually, guys, these products are only available. I mean, these products. The gel is actually only available at uh, notyourmothers.com and also Ulta. I actually DM'd them to ask them if Target carried them because Target is closer to me. And they told me no, so I actually had to do a trip to Ulta. And all. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys didn't know, I mean, I love Target. If you know me, I love Target. I'm obsessed with Target. Oh, so I'm applying the leave-in conditioner, guys. Um, but like I was saying, if you guys didn't know, Target, I mean, Ulta is now at Target, guys. So exciting. Love Ulta, and I love Target. And I mean, you got now Target, Starbucks, and Ulta together. It's like bomb. Okay, now I'm going to apply the cream. And this is a big cream. Like, I don't remember this. Top. Oh, yeah, it's 60% more compared to not your mother's 60 ounce. So this is a, oh, no, 60 ounce. 
oh six ounce i'm sorry i'm reading it wrong this is 9.7 fluid ounces and the original one is six ounces so you are getting a lot here i think this was the same price as the six ounce i think it's like eight dollars uh, but yeah pretty big so that's bomb it's gonna last me I'm gonna be applying the gel section by section just because I always do that to my hair um, unless I'm like layering um, gels then I like to apply it after here is the gel it says it's lasting definition hard hold gel control and define a flake free max hold best for curly to coily hair types maximum hold of a level five and in the back it says let your curls do the talking give your curls something to hold on to this maximum strength gel hydrates and defines making managing your hair easier than ever so go ahead and style those curls tame that frizz and lay those edges we promise your curls will thank you so it says maximum hold flake free gel okay so this one is pretty much the same consistency i think as their original one it's not so sticky um let me let me see so i'm gonna apply this and then i'm gonna show you guys the consistency i think this is the same consistency as their original um gel it's pretty sticky not sticky like sticky but you know it's 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 normal it's it's a gel correct me if i'm wrong if you guys um have both Okay, so after applying the gel, I'm going to go ahead and define my curls with my demon brush. It smells so good. I love how this uh, Curl Talk line smells. I'm going to do the same thing to all my hair. And then I'll be back and I'll show you guys once I'm like pretty much done. Because we're just testing this. I mean, we're just testing this gel out. Um... Not really the whole line. I just really want to test the curl, I mean the gel, because I always end up mixing all my products, like mixing them with other products. So it's not like I'm doing a review on the whole line. I mean, they haven't changed anything from their other products, like the leave-in, the, the cream, or anything. Um, but today is pretty much the gel that I always end up mixing my products. I don't really use like the whole like one brand to style i mean sometimes i do but most of the time i just love to mix my products so my concern is the gel so i wanted to talk about the ingredients in this product i actually looked up the ingredients and the first ingredient is water and then the second and the third and the fourth are basically holding agents they will create a film around your hair to give you that hold that this gel is claiming to give you it also contains um moisturizing agents so like it also claims that it's gonna give you frizz free uh, curls so just keep that in mind okay so what put over here i'm done styling my hair with the products um i can't really remember what the first one felt like i just know that it didn't last me up to like four days so yeah but so far it's really good um my curls are very hydrated um you guys can already see my definition is holding on it's so pretty look at these juicy juicy ringlets here oops um but yeah i'm super excited for this gel actually i'm so i'm very surprised that i don't have a lot of um frizz i usually have frizz right away on this side not this side this is my good side this is my bad side from my hair um but i usually have some frizz building up so i'm gonna go ahead and just be a little extra like always and just add a little more gel to both sides because i've lately i've been doing that for summer just because like i want a strong hold not a strong hold but you know i just want my curls to hold so i'm gonna do the same thing because i think it's only fair for me to do that um with this gel but yeah my curls are super hydrated Look at those ringlets. Ooh, yes. Juicy, juicy. Just what I like. Let me add a little more on this side. And I'm just um, adding water to dilute it just to like glaze it. 
since I already brushed my hair. Oh, oh Jesus. Just lightly without like creating frizz or disturbing the ringlets. Just finger coiling some of my curls here on this side. Cause like I said, these curls on this side, they be playing games with me, so. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead now and diffuse my curls. And I'll be back and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like. You guys, not your mother's was not playing. Dude, my curls have a cast, like I apply like seven gels. I'm not even joking. I don't even get this cast when I apply three gels. And for the summer, I've been applying like two gels and then I um, apply a mousse. And I don't have this hole that I have right now. Like they were really not playing. I literally have a cast. Like, you know what it reminds me of? Like when I used to put um, LA Lux gel back in the day and then I would apply a whole lot of Aquanet hairspray. That's the hold I have right now. I am not even joking. Look at my cast. Like, it is hard. It's hard. Like, hard. Oh, by the way, look what happened to my mirror as I was diffusing. I'm going to break the cast. I'm going to be using today the Verbs Moringa Jojobo treatment, oil treatment, this one. I've been loving this um, oil. Uh, my favorite one is the ghost oil. As you guys already know, I always talk about my ghost oil. Um, the ghost oil does have silicones for those of you who do not want silicones. Burbs got you. They got this one and I've been really loving this one. I've been using it. You guys can see there how much I've been using. Uh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to use today to break up my cap to break off my cast. So um, I'm breaking my cast and this side is fluffed out already. I'm trying to get it fluffed out. And this side is my uh, cast. I still have a cast. Maybe I applied a little too much gel because this a little bit of this gel will go a long way because i have a crunch guys like, i'm gonna have quite some time trying to build volume because of the cast i have a really good cast i don't know if i'm scared or if i'm happy but yeah i'm just letting you guys know that a little bit goes a long way i think i applied way too much um but if either way this is the hold sam they did that by the way, just to clarify, I use the same amount of gel that I've been using like this whole time. To style right now for summer, I use the same routine that I showed you guys right now. I glaze my curls at the end just to give me extra hold. Sometimes I even add mousse because I want extra hold. I just didn't know that this gel was not playing games and it was going to give me such a strong cast, like a crunch. Alrighty guys, so this is what my hair is looking like. It took me a little bit to try to get volume and break the cast that I had because like I said, this gel ain't playing games. It's hard. Not your mother's, you guys did that. Definitely like not even my um, my wee dad's favorite gel that I talk about all the time that is a strong hold gives me this hold that I have right now. So I mean, I can't wait to see how long my curls will last because I am super surprised with this gel so yeah guys like i tried to build volume but it, it's not happening i think this is the most i can get but i mean i'm not mad at it i actually love it i love how it looks um but yeah i'm actually gonna go out with my mom later on so i'm gonna take my curls out see but for right now this is what they are looking like um i will also show you guys my day uh two and three um in this in this video <laughs> let me show you the back because my curls, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I just shake my roots to create volume. So, yeah. But this is what my hair looks like. I'm loving it. I, I forgot to mention that when I was styling my hair, I actually got clumps from the product. But it just went away once I diffused. Like, usually that happens. I've tested some of my um, products. Some of them do not go away. So certain ingredients and in certain products, they do not go away even after diffusing my hair. They just stay like little um, pieces of buildup of the product. But sometimes I will have it and diffuse and dry my hair, it goes away. So 
that's what happened here i had a little bit not a lot but it went away as i diffused um another thing is that i don't have any flakes usually with stronghold gels sometimes you start to see flakes when you break the cast away or when you're when you're scrunching your hair you'll uh, start seeing flakes not the case with this one but a trick that i learned um with one of my mousses that i like from aussie it creates flakes um but i put oil like on all over my curls and the flakes go away so that's a little hack for you guys like if you guys have your favorite mousses gels that flake use oil and the flakes will go away but yeah so i have no flakes with this gel so i'm really surprised because like i said it's a really really strong hold gel and i don't have flakes so we will test that out to see what happens in day two and day three Alrighty, so this is my day two curls. I already actually went out with my hair. I actually had things to do early in the morning, so I didn't show you guys what my hair looked like when I woke up, but honestly, my hair looked intact. It looked the same thing it looked like the first day. I didn't refresh, guys. This is what my hair looks like. I didn't add an oil, nothing, nada. I love it. I got more volume. I already, like I said, I already went out. I actually got compliments on my hair. This lady at the gas station told me that my curls look very defined and very shiny. So I was really happy about that because it's day two. And yeah, like I said, my curls look exactly the same. Um, it's already like almost 7 when I filmed this um, PM and I started to get a little bit of frizz but nothing crazy guys like I'm not even mad at it I love my hair my hair it looks exactly the same I also started to notice that on top as you guys can see here I started to get a little bit of flakes just a little bit I think I applied too much um, gel at once up there but I didn't really do anything today at night till tomorrow i'm gonna see what my curls look like if there's more flakes but as of now day two was amazing 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 hold day number three and sorry about my puffy eyes like i said we had things to do this weekend and i went to sleep late and had to wake up early so i'm a little puffy but i wanted to show you guys what my curls look like when i woke up because i didn't do that for sec for day two so this is what my curls look like so I'm just shaking my curls just to get my curls back in place. And then I started to notice that I actually had a little more flakes like I had told you guys on day two on top. As you guys can see, I got a little bit more flakes. I guess just for me putting my hair up in a pineapple to go to sleep. But it's not bad, honestly. Like, I don't even care. What I'm going to do is add more oil. The same oil that I used on day one to break my cast. And I'm just going to add a little bit just to the top. Like I told you guys, the oil will make the flakes go away. I guess I just applied a little too much on top. And that's why it created um, flakes. But overall, my hair still looks the same. I feel I just got more volume, but no flakes, only there. And as you guys can see, the oil really does help a lot to diminish the look of the flakes. And then I just put whatever oil was left on my fingertips to like frizzier parts, which is the part that I always struggle with, which is my back strands. There you have it, day three curls looking amazing. Um, so to wrap up my review on this gel, I honestly feel like this gel is a winner. I really love it. I love the hold. It is a strong hold gel. So I really love it. I just would suggest that you guys use a little bit. A little bit will go a long way. But other than that, amazing. Great, great drugstore product i will definitely continue to use this gel let me know in the comments below what day was your favorite day please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are back to see my next video bye